Hello everyone and welcome to this new Arduino tutorial where today we will be working with a sound sensor module. A sound sensor module is basically a device in which we serve as a microphone in most systems because it is used in order to perceive sound. You can perceive the sound from up here. So in this case we will be using this one which in this case has four pins. In which we can perceive the sound analogic um ana through an analog way and or through a digital way analog way means that what we are going to use something like this potentiometer even though you cannot see it clearly this blue um, device which is a potentiometer so when it will be turned in order to have a given sensitivity at which the sound can be perceived and then when that sound is being perceived it can do either you can put a small range for which the sound should do this or that for example why it can be oh, the sound can also be gotten digitally through the digital pin in which you put a certain value by which when that value is being crossed therefore another action can be performed and basically i'm going to use this same setup in some videos coming ahead in order to be able to clap in order to put on a um a bulb inside a house or anything but in this case we are just going to use it in order to play some music while the music is playing we are going to do some jokes or some playing with our let's which we have here so as i said the analog pin will be um, in this case i'm going to put it analog um pin of my Arduino board, the ground goes to the ground, the VCC goes to the 5 volt, and the digital one will go to any digital pin on our Arduino board. So let us start doing some mounting up for the So after doing the cabling that will definitely put inside the description of the video, let me just give a brief explanation of how the code will work. So the thing is just very simple. I'm going to use the analog pin of the uh, of the microphone here. So what you do is the I'll use the function analog read, which is going to give me a value between zero and. 1023 according to the sensitivity which i have chosen here so i'm going to play with these values so i'm going to take the value maybe i'll say maybe the value from this range to this range is going to make the lead green to come on else if it is from this range to this range it's going to give me the red in the other case it's going to give me the yellow so that is what I'm going to play with in order to have a melody that is going to make the let to be able to see the way dancing. So let me now put the sound and then we'll see how it's going to work. Okay, so explaining the code, it's a very short and simple code. For me, I'll first of all start by declaring the pins I'll use, the analog pin, digital pin 5, even though I'll not use it too much in the, I'd not use in the presentation, the green pin, the, the red one, and the yellow pin. Int rhythm is just a variable that I'll create in order to get the analog readings from the, um, from the analog pin. I declare the states in which the pins should be, then I continue here into the main void loop so the, as i said the rhythm takes the value from the analog which is the value between what zero and 1023 so by fine tuning by turning the the potentiometer which is that blue module on the microphone i got by fine tuning to a certain level i got a value uh, which was around 507 uh, around 580 so i decided to play with those values in order to get my green red and my yellow light so i i took it like this so if my rhythm is between zero and 570 i should turn on the green light or i should turn it off if it is above that and it is between less than 585 i also do the same for the red light else if it is greater than that i sh it should turn me the yellow light on and that is basically the code. So 
So I would like to thank you for all for watching. Smash the like button if you loved it. Put your worries in the, inside the comment. Make sure you share the video and don't forget to subscribe for more is coming. See you next week for another video.